As you've seen from the clip, disaster preparedness can take a lot of different forms and it's an ongoing process that never ends and Rosarito certainly has its share of work to do to maintain that level of preparedness. In our next story, we're going to talk about the cultural uh, traditions and infrastructure for Rosarito. Uh, we have news about the Arts and Culture Center, uh, which is having its seventh anniversary. Uh, it's known as CMAC, and they're going to be celebrating this. The director of CMAC, Norma Gruel, tells us that the celebration is a big thank you to all those that have contributed to and participated in the center's activities. We have a clip from her interview with CNR Now conmemorar lo que se le ha ofrecido a la comunidad, ¿no? la cultura, el acercamiento de nosotros a los jóvenes. Hemos eh, ofrecido desde talleres de canto, guitarra, como los de danza, danza folclórica, artes plásticas, es lo que le hemos ofrecido a la comunidad, lo que estamos festejando. Resultados maravillosos, desde que, por ejemplo, la Escuela de Música del Noroeste se acercó a CEMAC para tener aquí su, uh, su escuela, desde que han salido de aquí jóvenes con intenciones de formar ballets folclóricos ya profesionales. Pues hay responsabilidad y gusto y placer ¿no? en, en darle el reconocimiento a todo lo que se ha hecho, lo que se ha logrado, uh, tanto a alumnos, maestros, como a personas que han colaborado con nosotros, como el gobierno del estado a través del ICBC, por supuesto el alcalde con el apoyo que nos da, el director de desarrollo social, eh, las diferentes oficinas que trabajan con nosotros siempre. Híjola, muchos, estos, muchos, ¿sí? próximamente tendremos la donación de un horno de cerámica, eh, pensamos poder abrir eh, un taller más de cerámica, el taller de artes plásticas ya tiene una, una clase más que es dibujar natural, tenemos eh, las clases de, de folclor, las clases de danza eh, eh, rítmica con las personas de la tercera edad, Seguimos con eso, tenemos también eh, las clases de guitarra y canto. Entonces, y ahí está, hay muchísimo, todo eso lo pueden consultar en la página de Facebook de Semac Rosarito. O hablarnos por teléfono, por supuesto. Bueno, pues obviamente los esperamos aquí, la fecha está tentativa todavía. Eh, estaremos eh, avisándoles de cuándo es, a qué horas para que nos acompañen a toda la comunidad. Es un evento público, lo haremos en la esplanada para que todos tengan la oportunidad de acercar. Y lo haremos en la tarde para que no haya excusa de que están trabajando y no pueden llegar. Sí, claro, y se les estará avisando también a muchas personas que ya no tienen el contacto con nosotros para que recuerden que aquí estamos y vengan a visitarnos de nuevo. CMAC's a wonderful institution. They also have the library there at the park where the headquarters is. And by the way, this library gets some great support uh, from the local organization, uh, Friends Library in various ways, fundraising and other assistance. And also there's a wonderful relationship with the University of Riverside in California, which provides students that come and have activities and reading with the students, uh, I mean with the children there and uh, school students. And also they provide books and furniture of various kinds like book stands for the library. As you know, summer's been sneaking away from us with its seasonably warm uh, temperatures that you see in September. And uh, nonetheless, it's very important not to relax about the potential for fire dangers. According to the director of the fire department, Hector Medina, the fire season is coming to its close, but he also had a warning for anybody that might be tempted to engage in illegal, non-professional electrical installations known as Diablitos or other kinds of uh, risky fire behavior. The Santa Ana winds that can sweep through the area in late fall and even in the winter can turn a small fire into a big blaze in no time. This summer, fires consumed over 1,200 acres, and the fire department was able to respond to those. But we don't want to see any additional problems happen, so please keep your guard up and watch out for those hidden fire dangers. Now we're going to talk about uh, some good news about tourists and residents here giving great reports on the uh, food in the Rosarito area. As you know, uh, pretty much anyone you talk to is going to say they had a good experience. Uh, we get a lot of thumbs up reviews. And one of the reasons for that is because of the uh, food handlers getting registered um, to prevent any kind of foodborne illness. This is done by the Municipal Health Services Department, which is recertifying the workers and providing them with the required sanitary control cards. Dr. Nelson Romero, the director of sanitary control, reported to us that there are 1,200 current sanitary cards and they're in the process of another uh, 500 being processed. 
The propagation of these trained staff is what is responsible for a lot of the thumbs up reviews that we get here in Rosarito regarding the food. Whether it's the savory aroma of the berea stands that attracts people from a block away or the fantastic seafood that we're known for in Rosarito and particularly the Puerto Nuevo area. So we're looking forward to sharing more uh, good times with the restaurants in the area. Now let's cut to a commercial and we'll be back with more news including fascinating information about the economy in Mexico and the local area.